Hey guys, how's it going? Fruit Hunter back, and welcome to another 2v2 battle for Rome to the War. So, um, what was I gonna say? Basically, I'm doing, like I said, I'm doing the medieval campaign now, and thank you guys. I um, just want to give a shout out to all you guys. Thank you for getting me past my first subscriber late, uh, my first subscriber point, which is 50. I was hoping to get by that pretty soon, and thank you guys. You helped me get by that. So, um, Tomorrow the Conqueror is Kaiser. We're using both our usernames on. YouTube for that, he commands the Broody Eye and I command the Skippy Eye. So I've got three units of Hastati, four units of Principes, four units of Triarii, right there, one unit of Roman General, and then four units of Equites. So we're both using pre Marian armies. We wanted to show you how we, Kaiser and I, typically use pre Marian. And then Kaiser's got four units of Principes, three units of Triarii, which are in the back right there, um, five units of Roman Archers, or, yeah. 5 units of Roman Archers, 5 units of Roman Cav, and then 1 unit of Triarii hiding in this Cav. And then I've also got 4 units of Archers over there, I just missed Micro, and they're sitting over there for now. So, our opponents, um, we've got, he's got 5 Spear Warband, got a unit of Germani uh, Germanic Berserkers back there, so they're falling back. Um, and then Corda Lewis has got a mix of Praetorian Cav and Urban Cohorts. Sorry, Praetorian Cohorts. And then he looks like he's got four Roman Archers. It's hard to tell because he's rushing them forward. Yeah, four Roman Archers. And then he's got another Praetorian Cohort over there, First Legionary. And then he's got three ants of Praetorian Cav. So, Corda Lewis uh, is taking advantage of the fact that my archers are out of place, so I'm, he's going to try to take them out. So Kaiser's going to rush his cav over, and I'm going to pull my cav over to go help out. So and then I'm going to pull my Triarii over as a safeguard in case the cav do slip by my Equites. Which doesn't think it doesn't look like they're going to, so I'll be okay on that front. So Kaiser's pulling up his Roman Cav to help me out, and we're going to rush his Praetorian Cavalry. Since once we eliminate the Cavalry threat, we have the entire Cav advantage, because that's all the Cavalry on this map. Because Germania brought no Cavalry, which isn't a really smart idea. You should always bring some Gothic Cavalry. So we're going to route those Praetorian Cav immediately, and then over here, we're going to completely surround these guys, and then just completely hammer them. So you can see we've brought two units of those guys. And now I'm going to pull my cavalry back and Kaiser's going to miss micro those guys, I believe. Yeah, he's going to miss either miss micro them or just he's going to try to attack. And it's not going to work so far. So I'm going to pull my guys back. Okay, okay, so now my guys, we know that we have the major missile disadvantage, so what we're going to do is we're going to have to rush forward soon. So I'm going to speed it up till we move forward. At least until we get some kind of action. Okay, so let's slow this down. Okay, so you can see two units of Berserkers running forward, and Kaiser's men, his archers, are automatically routing just in the presence of the Berserkers, I think that's why. So, you can hear the gigantic, the really loud battle cries. Okay, so Kaiser's going to pull his Roman cavalry up to hopefully sandwich and destroy those Berserkers. Which is going to work, he's going to route them immediately, and you can see it has completely flattened all those guys. And he's going to have his men keep chasing them because I'm guessing he doesn't want Berserkers uh, reforming. So he's going to take those guys out. So I'm going to speed up again until we advance. So my archers are going to go forward and um, they're going to suck up the missile fire of the enemy soon. So you can see my guys are getting dropped at the moment. 
and they're sucking up our missile fire. Alright, now we're all going to advance forward. So Kaiser with his Principes and me with my Hastadis. No guys, um, I'm using my Hastadis mainly as cannon fodder and shock infantry. I'm mainly using them for their Pila to hopefully make some gaps in the Roman line. Um, if you're ever using a pre-marine army, and if you think if you like if you like this army and you'd like to try it out sometime, don't ever put your general in the Stadi line because they always route for me as soon as I do this. Like you can see here, his Pilo just devastated that entire unit and made them go from eager to shaken. So you can see as soon as they slam these guys, they're actually going to route. See? So you see what I mean? So the Hastati won't be able to hold long. What I mainly use them for is just to create a couple gaps in the enemy lines. Like you can see I thinned out the ranks a bit. Kaiser over here is using his uh, cavalry to hit the, take advantage of the no cav support of Germania. And he's going to route those chosen archer warband. And then he's rushing his principes forward. And then you can see my principes are holding the line now. Those are the backbone of my infantry from when I used pre Marion. And then you can see my Chirarii on the flank, which they're going to rush in soon. That's what's really going to be my major asset to this. I've made, I really use the Triarii true to their goal. So Kaiser's fighting those Germanian guys and they routed those Chosen Archer Warman. So, the Triarii are just completely overwhelming those Praetorian cohorts and urban cohorts, and they're completely rotting them. So, just because of the sheer numbers of my guys, they're doing okay. So I pushed my Equites and my Roman General in to try to do some hammer and anvil on those guys, but I just didn't have enough Equites to do any impact on them. So it's not really going to work out very much. So we're at a standoff here now. We're fighting. My Principes are fighting those guys. And then Kaiser is getting swarmed by the Germanic tribes. <laughs> but um, my Equites, I used them to free up Kaiser's center. So he's able to push his Principes over to help his others. Principes. And I'm going to leave my Equites there to keep fighting. And then I push more Equites in to uh, hammer and anvil them while my general takes out whatever archers there are. In the background you can see him back there. And then over here my uh, Triarii, my large group of Triarii and the Principes have completely crushed the flank. And they're going to run in soon as soon as they deal with the remaining soldiers. And then Kaiser took down the German general. The enemy general is slain, and now his men fear us. It is time to press the Germanian attack. general. And then... So I routed those guys, and now I'm going to pull my guys around and engulf these men. And hopefully surround these first legionary cohort. And first legionary cohort hold really well, and if this was a one-on-one -on -one situation, I'd get wrecked. But... Just I'm because I'm surrounding them. We're going to completely demolish them. All right, so that worked. And I'm going to pull my guys back into a line. And you can see that my Triarii over there and Kaiser's remaining men are getting swamped by that remaining unit of Spear Warband and uh, Chosen Axeman. So I'm going to pull my guys into a line. So I can hopefully attack all the flanks, and I'm going to use my uh, Roman Pila, my javelins, to hit them. So we're going to charge in now with my remaining troops. For Rome! <laughs> For glory and victory! So, alright, so my men are pushing in now, and I'm surrounding these guys. He went basically. Uh, Cody Ray fell to his death, came to, into his own death. He brought this down upon himself by uh, coming into my to attack my Principes, because now I'm free to surround him at will. So you can see I'm attacking him on pretty much all flanks. So his men aren't going to hold out very well. And now my Triarii, my Roman general right there, is going to come in. But you can see he's going to fly off his horse. Holy crap! <laughs> My men will not lose heart. They will fight to the end. 
No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Um, so my Terraria are going to rush in the back and we're going to route that unit as Spear Warband in a bit. They are pretty fighting pretty valiantly for Barbarians. They're fighting to the last man. So now my guys are going to engulf these men. You guys can see all that carnage right there where all that battle and blood. <laughs> it's just a huge... Oh, Jesus. It's just a huge racked up body count right there. Alright, so I'm speed it up to the game end. The enemy the enemy show victory. Victory. <laughs> of fate, perhaps, but victory. Victory all the same. same. Alright, so it's a close victory. Um, I killed 800... 610 men had 265 remaining. Two more of the Conqueror killed 504 men and had 165 remaining. Good teamwork to two more of the Conqueror. Thanks for watching, guys.